looking for today. Mm -hmm. String of hearts tend to grow quite abundantly, and if you're not detangling and separating, it's not good. Let's see what we can do. And we're done. What do you think? I woke up today shocked and confused to see that my beautiful pothos that has been in my life for almost five years was starting to give up on me. I was shocked as she's been my strongest soldier in the plant gang all these years. But at the same time, I couldn't blame her. You know, the circumstances that I've asked my plants to adapt to in this room has been highly unfair of me to then demand excellence. I adore this room. I love these windows. Unfortunately, they face north. So, in terms of sunlight, it's not looking good. I was never a plant person. I had never tried to keep plants um, when I was growing up in this room. Uh, and the apartment that I moved from was south facing, wall of windows, more sunlight than I could ever dream of. And so it was a tough transition for them to move them all from direct sunlight all day to a room that gets no direct sunlight and the least amount of light of all the directions. And I'm gonna make it work, okay? So my dream, I'm obsessed with hanging lights, like pendant lights, especially easy ones that just plug into the wall, you flip them on, like you don't need to like do some electrician shit, like it just, you don't need to like wire them into the ceiling. This is like a pack of three. This is like pretty, like, you know what? Fuck Amazon, but like, this arrived in a day since I had this manic idea. Comes with a little baggie of stuff to, to hang it with. Then I'm gonna put in my grow bulbs. And then, call me crazy, I had another idea. How fun would it be have the hanging light and go hunting for some beautiful, like, vintage glass lamp covers, like lampshades. And then that gives me a good excuse to go thrifting. So, let's test it. This isn't my ideal lampshade, but it certainly works. Oh, yeah, baby. I just need to get these suckers on the plants, the poor plants. They're begging for it, they're thirsty. Temporary solution. But she's fed, okay? But imagine when this is like hung properly in the corner. Today is the first- god, my skin is not good right now. It is not in a good state. Um, let's not talk about it. Let's not. Instead, I'm gonna hold my vase of water. Like, right in front, just very casual. I'm just checking in on the plants. They're fine. Um, I'm just gonna hold it here for good measure. Um, also a new development in the story. My, uh, lights are up. My grow lights. Did I show that last time? I feel like I did. But, ooh, actually, even more exciting development. It's genuinely been working. This is new growth. This is new growth. These little guys are popping up. <gasps> this is a new growth. What I was gonna say is today is the first day that I don't feel the burden of winter's darkness upon us anymore. I really do. I feel that spring lightness upon us and it makes me want to do stuff, which is a nice change of pace because I've been on my lazy bones shit. I just have so much I would like to do right now. For example, I have a painting to finish. It's so close. It's nearly there. Like, it's time to get a move on and wrap it up. I've also recently felt a heavy, heavy pull to start making music again and been getting multiple signs from the universe. Maybe I'm delusional, but I'm choosing to follow it. Now in the roster, I have built a new goal for myself and it's time sensitive. It has a deadline, so I think that I can do it. I think I can accomplish it, okay? So today is currently Saturday. Next Thursday, I feel like I'm talking into a microphone. Today is currently Thursday. Next Saturday, nope. Today is currently Saturday. Next Thursday, I am going to my first rave dance techno in a very long time. It's also Boiler Room, Toronto. Hello. I'm trying to envision what I'm gonna wear. And I'm like, 
Lincoln. Um, so here's the thought, especially because I've been flopping on this as of late, but I'm gonna sew myself a new outfit. And I think it's good to have this time-sensitive goal because have I sewed once since my last vlog? No. I have a vision, I have a purpose. But do I have fabric? start though by scheduling my night appropriately and apparently i need this now i don't think it's that my time management is bad i just think i it helps me to have a structure like a schedule hour to hour of the different things i work on because i feel like i bounce between so many modalities and things i want to do and like as easy as it is to get caught up in a whole night of painting i'll feel really guilty if i like don't get around to like continuing a song that i'm working on so here's my attempt to do it all From six to seven. I'm gonna paint. Seven to eight. Just plan top. And then from eight onwards. Music in me. Yeah. Okay. That's just me instilling some extra energy. Because she kind of needs that right now. She's been neglected in my herb practice for the past four, three years. Oh, and let's not even talk about the fact that I didn't go to the gym today either. Like trying to do it all is so hard, but here's to trying. Um, the day took a little bit of a turn. I was on a good track to getting done the things I listed. And then I had the thought, what if I rearranged my whole room? Now I have removed my headboard from my bed, moved the box spring, flushed to the, <laughs> flushed to the windowsill, pushed the top mattress into the windowsill. And you know what? I was panicking because I didn't know what I was going to do with the extra room. But I forgot I had cushions in that window because now look. Katie, look, I'm a genius. <gasps> Doesn't that work? Yeah. Well, and then Winona can actually jump up. <gasps> it's a little step up. Oh! We got it. I might be silly for this one. This was supposed to be a relaxing day off for me and now I think I've just like tripled my workload because everything is a mess and like my bed situation is questionable. So what I also did do today that I'm proud of is that I wanted to work out, but I also wanted to like figure out what I'm gonna do for making this top for this next sewing project. I walked for an hour on the treadmill while doing my research and I figured out what I'm gonna do and I'm quite excited about it. The theme for this dance party is denim, which is a sensory nightmare for me, like raving and like dancing and sweating in denim, like I couldn't imagine a worse punishment. And I was figuring out what kind of top I wanted to make and I've been really drawn to like a corset style crop top. I came across this tutorial for upcycling old jeans into one of those tops. And just last week I went to Value Village and got this pair of jeans that when I came home did not fit at all. Which like, screw Value Village for getting rid of their change rooms because it was a waste of money, they don't fit me at all. But now I can upcycle them into this top and they're denim! Like it's gonna work out so well. So I have the denim set and I'm ready to make this. But now I've just interrupted my day by rearranging my whole room and I'm exhausted. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Like, come on, in the summer, in the spring, when like the nice breeze is flowing through. Ugh. I just smell the fresh laundry. Fresh linen. tulips growing. Maybe we should go to Bath and Body Works. I made, made it. I made this. People would be like, I really like that top. Thank you. I made it. Oh my god, slaying serving. Like this neckline is so flattering on me. Brother, I can't believe myself. You know, it's not perfect, but, but it's pretty is this like the most advanced thing to make? 
<laughs> I've literally never done anything like this in my life. Oh, I did get my deodorant on it already. Well done. Needs some adjustments. Like it's definitely uneven and not much of a corset anymore. Well, also good thing that I have other jeans. This one way too small. But I just didn't account for seam allowance. And this is yesterday's. It's so comfy. I don't like that it's like this. So I might take. Version 2 is beautiful. I'm obsessed. And this one's a lot stretchier. I think those straps are gonna be so much more comfortable. It's not perfect, but like for my first garment, come on. Round of applause in the chat, please. I just have to Frankenstein them together in a way that makes sense. This turned into me like literally giving myself a god complex to being very quickly humbled again. I was doing so well with this top. I take. Oh no, actually keep the Dutch angle because things are getting like I'm. This is my villain origin story. Uh, keep a terrifying angle. So, ugh, I think it would be a great idea to cut the back off of this first stretchy one and then sew on the front of the other one <laughs> so that the top's a little bit more stretchy, but the front has some structure to it and it has the gorgine color blocking. That didn't work either. It didn't work either so at this point at this point like i kind of went through hell to like tear them apart restitch them back together tear them apart like the edges are just it's not gonna look as clean it's just not i have frankenstein the shit out of both of these pieces so i think what's the best thing to do now make a new one so this is my third pair of jeans i wish i had done nothing after the original like i should have been happy accepted what I made, and I was proud, I was happy too. I should have just left it at that. I should have just left it at the first one. Clock's a ticket, and I gotta get something done. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> My mirror came in the mail body mirror which i think is a huge development i've just been needing to see full outfits i might put my other monstera plant right in front it needs something else here otherwise i like the kind of simplicity of the wall so yeah my room feels like this is like the part one we've got the basic improvements that i wanted in place but little details such as the glass lampshades um final touches stay tuned for the next one I'm a dummy or I'm just I'm a true icon who loves to live in the moment. I didn't take any pictures or videos of my final outfit that I worked so hard to make. Uh, so here I am to show you that now. And I'll tell you, it's not the same effect without the full face or like cool shoes or anything, but here's what I ended up making. I ended up wearing the last top that I made. Of course, the bottom part is from the same pair of pants that were used to make this, so it matched as a set a little bit more. The bottoms are, I mean, the only way I can describe it is true camp. These are also like nylon stockings that I cut into to be these like arm warmers, thinking that it would be a little bit more transparent to match the chiffon or whatever I have here. I don't know what this is. Chiffon? Chiffon? Oh. So yeah, anyways, I feel so silly for not capturing this like 
in the setting, in the event. Like, I wish I also captured everyone else's fits because they were just, like, everyone went all out for this theme and, like, DIY'd their own things. So I felt really happy and proud that I was able to um step up and diy my outfit for this i felt like right at home and i would call it a success because i also like not only did i make the full the full set it was comfy it didn't fall apart <sighs> excited for the next event that i can like diy something else up thank you for joining me on this journey